Hey guys, what is up? It's your girl, Dr. Samara, and I am back with another video. If you haven't already, go ahead and go like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's channel because it is what? It is free, and let's get into this video. You can leave this in Alright guys, so a lot of you guys have been asking me, is it very important to have a mentor when you are beginning to start trading in Forex? And I definitely believe 100% that you do need a mentor in anything, not just specifically Forex, um, especially if you are not familiar with anything that you have interest in. So whether that be real estate, whether that be the stock market, the Forex market, I mean, whatever. Anything that you have an interest in, you don't really have that much knowledge in, I think it's wise to always have a mentor. Um, so do I have a mentor personally? I do have a mentor. I actually have about two um, within specifically the Forex industry. Um, and that came from being in a, um, basically like an organization I would say, um, known as IML, I'm not sure if they go by that name anymore. But um, I do know that that was where I found my mentor. I think it's very important that you do get a mentor um, specifically because they're able to tell you the things that um, are not beneficial for you and that may, you know, cause you to be in a deeper hole than what you can um, intentionally prevent from. Um, and what I mean by that is basically like um, not doing stupid things within the market, like being realistic with your goals, being grateful for, you know, earning within the market because we know that the market can literally take all of your earnings and everything within your actual account. So, um, you know, just having that mindset, you know, someone introducing you some other, you know, technical skills within the forest market. Um, I think that's very important because yes, we can read. Yes, we can look at many different things online and stuff and get a GIF, a great understanding altogether. But it just helps to have someone who's a veteran within the market and who can just definitely um, show you some things that you probably could have took maybe a year or so to do. But, you know, they're literally giving you everything you need to be successful so take advantage of that the next question um that you guys asked me was um how can you find a mentor so actually that's not like a easy easy question i would say um i think it's more so what you want from a mentor um and then also see like what is the person's schedule like you know you don't want to kind of bombard um anyone with you know trying to learn something that you know they have a very good skill in um but also you want to be realistic with the person that you do select now it is wise sometimes to reach out um to some of your mentors but then also i do believe that it's important that you be just as professional as anyone who may reach out to them. I would say, you know, try to reach out to them via email. Um, I think this is when people take you a little bit more seriously um, instead of a DM. Um, now, that can be from any different perspective. But for me, I think that coming from an email and being sincerely yourself and really, you know, telling them your story and, and why you chose them um, as, you know, a potential mentor for the, for you, you know, why, why, why is it? Why, what is something that you, you know, are inspired or admired by from this, you know, person? So um, I would say that you can reach out to your mentor, but if they do have an email, try to reach out to them via email. Um, another way is that you can also look up many different YouTubers that are very um, successful traders um, and just kind of get an idea of their background story. It's always important that, you know, you just kind of, you know, use them as a mentor, but it's not really like a one on one type of mentorship. It could just be a mentor from afar. You just really, you know, are analyzing how they're, you know, within the market and things like that. So a mentor could be any way that you describe it, it doesn't have to always be a face-to-face one-on-one interaction so i would definitely say those are some ways that you can reach out to your mentor and the next question is would you pay for mentorship if needed so that's actually a good question 
Um, I honestly, guys, believe that it's very important for you to invest into yourself, um, especially if it's going to grow your mindset as well as your overall growth altogether. Um, now, I would say it just depends on the services that you will receive. Um, everyone has a different budget and everyone th views things differently. So I would say me personally, I'm not going to pay for mentorship. The only thing that I would pay for is some services, um, things that I know that I don't feel like doing. And I know someone else who's really good at it and I can just pay them that is going to close all the inconveniences for me. So I think um, for me personally, I'm not gonna pay for someone um, to give me mentorship because as I stated to you guys, it doesn't have to be face-to-face. -face. Um, but if you want that face-to-face -face and it just perhaps that, you know, the mentor that you have a very huge interest in too, um, for, you know, just closely learning from them, if they require you to pay them, then, you know, that's just a discussion that you need to have with yourself. Um, but it just depends. It really just depends. Um, but me personally, I think it's just best for me to just keep reaching out for free. And, you know, hopefully, you know, the person that you have an interest in, um, getting some mentorship are sweet, nice, generous, you know, things of that nature. So I wouldn't personally pay for mentorship, guys. <laughs> All right, and the last question that you guys have been asking about is, am I offering mentorship? So currently, guys, I am not offering mentorship at this time. Um, it's all because of my tight schedule that I have. When I am a mentor um, to anyone in general, I always want to give like my best to this person um, or the, to this group. Now, I do want to um, start a mentorship um, and you know, this is like something where I'm kind of like a big sis in a way and just kind of, you know, helping you break down Forex all together for your understanding. Um, that's the type of mentorship I will be providing. It won't be more of that, you know, like, I don't know what people expect from mentorship. So, you know, just kind of comment down below. What are your expectations from a mentor or what are some things or services or skills that you would like to learn from your um, your mentor or anything like that? So um, that will definitely be helpful, guys. But as of now, I am not offering one on one mentorship at this time. I do plan on doing that this summer, especially once I graduate from um, my um, program. So once I graduate in the summer, guys, I will be back in you guys' face again. I miss you guys so much. I'm so sorry, guys. It's been a challenging year being in residency, but we are getting closer and closer to the graduation date. So just hang on tight, guys. This is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, go ahead and go like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's channel because it is what? It is free. And see you guys in the next video. Bye.